Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another vlog. So today I have for you the Canon PowerShot SX730HS. Let's go open up this and check it out. Along with the camera, I got the camera case, the camera stand as well as a 16GB SD card. Now let's go open up the camera and see how it is. So in the box we have the 16 GB SD card with the warranty scheme and the manual book. We have the charging cable. So the charger. battery the camera holder and the camera itself starting from the front it has the lens and on the right hand side below it has the model number mentioned Towards the left it has a nice rubbery grip for a firm hold. At the side it has a slide button to pop open the flashlight at the top. Moving towards the other side it has the HDMI and the USB input. Below it has a slide open door where the battery and the SD card is inserted. Towards the back it has a nice 3 inch display screen which is not a touch sensitive and right next to it it has several buttons which include the menu, the playback and several other settings to select from. The 3 inch display screen can flip up to an angle of 180 degrees that gives the user a nice position to vlog or to take a selfie. Coming at the top, starting from the left, it has the flash, the speaker, the on and off button, the zoom in zoom out function, the recording and a spin wheel to select the varieties of modes it has. Now let's check out the camera during the night. At present the mode selected is the auto. The audio that you hear right now is recorded from the camera itself. This shall help you identify the audio quality on this camera. Now let's check in the zoom in feature during the night. This is at times 4.6, at times 8.4, at times 30, at times 80. At times 128, at times 160. Sorry about that. At times 40. Let's zoom out completely. So that's about the zoom in during the night. So yeah, that's how the camera is during the night. Let's take out some other videos to check out the video quality and the zoom in as well. So this is at times 15. At times 40. at times 160 the stabilization gets affected once you zoom in right towards the end but I think the 40 is a standard which gives a more better picture or video quality so 
so that's about the video quality it seems quite good so that's the best of my knowledge and experience about this camera at the end a recommendation is to buy a hard case cover for the camera which could prevent any button that could be pressed during traveling that could end up damaging the camera so that's about it from my end do let me know in the comment section what do you think about this camera don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button thank you so much for watching hey guys in this channel we review new cars new products discover new places and even show you a view at a height of 36,000 feet so why miss out don't forget to like subscribe and turn your notifications on thank you so much for watching